channel my name is black tv if this is your first time here hi guys welcome back i don't even i don't even know <laughs> I don't even know how to film a YouTube video anymore. I've been off here for like almost a year, for even a year now. I'm sorry, I'm sorry I've been off. It's just like life has just been life in. So yeah, that's the reason why I've been off. On today's video, I'm just going to be doing a makeup look of um, using all Nigerian products from Zikel, Nuban, um, Beauty by AD, Ega Lesta. A lot of Nigerian products, that's what I'm using to take everything, all the products I'm using are Nigerian products. I have not, I have not actually done a video like this, like Nigerian brand. So, you think that's me. And, guys, I've done my skincare. I use this to the I use the moisturizer from Blusel makeup then I use the primer for so my coat I'll be using this on my nose on my forehead so I'm going to be putting the foundation on my tree just like two pumps I don't use the of foundation because I use my foundation as um, contour so it's because I do use concealer like So I also take this on my nose. You just start from the top of the of your brows, then to your to the bridge of your nose. My nose is pretty easy to contour because they already have the shape. And then I'm going to use my soft and trusty white gum beauty blender to blend it out and after that i'm using my concealer this is the <clears throat> beauty by ad lux concealer in the shade bad 10 i actually like this concealer i've, I've not tried it before this is my first time trying this concealer and I've heard a lot of good, good reviews about it. So, hmm, I guess that's a bit light. Hmm, it is. <laughs> it is light. I'm going to be using another concealer for the rest of my face. I'm just going to put that light on and then on the eye. This is a Zikel HD concealer. I'm going to use this instead. And yeah, you see, this is like more calmer than that one. And it dries, it dries down quickly. So I'm going to blend out this first. I like to put concealer at the side of my mouth 
so that it just cancel out the darkness there. I'm going in with my foundation brush just so that this concealer I have to keep it just at the middle of my forehead. I don't want it anywhere else apart from the middle. So once I feel like it's going just out of the box. I'm going to you see I'm just blending the edges with hey guys so my my camera my phone cut so what I just did was to take the concealer under my eye just like blend it up a little bit to give me like this sharp look so my face looks lifted and then the next thing to do is I just use this this Tehida palette. Then I'll be using this shade out of the palette. The name I dropped off is the darkest, you know, the deep um, red burgundy shade in the palette. And I'm using a What's the name of this? Cindy's Cindy's creation. Just put a blush on the on your cheeks. So I would like to like smile and then place it. I don't smile on anything because I really know where to put it. On your cheeks. And then blend it in. I use a lot of blush but it's just going to count down because I'm still going to put powder, concealer, everything shall in it so it's still going to calm down and then the tip of my nose then for this concealer I'm going to add a little bit of this um, Zikel, just there and blend it out. Then I'm just blending this face out so we don't have a harsh line, like a bunch of like concealer, just stay in there. And what is left on the beauty blender, I'm going to take it under this face just to add a little bit of product here. I'm not satisfied with the concealer, so I'm just going to add a little bit of the visible AD.
are just going to the part yeah. I use for the foundation for the overall blending. Then I'm going to set my face with my mirror setting powder. This is Mira Kissing Powder in Ginger. Ginger. The key to having it like a smooth under eye. Can you see like your under eye is already crisp? Having a smooth under eye is to put your setting powder on your powder pot and then blend your poem, your concealer, blend it into your skin. And then you set immediately. If you don't make this weird eye, then <laughs> you probably not doing it right. So you set immediately. Just in it. You just tap it in, tap it in, tap it in until the powder just absorb into your skin i've not even gone into like the second powder and i'm still going like two three times just to be sure that i'm setting it right i like the way my under eye feels i mean beauty by ad it was on camera but let me just try it out I blend it too much. Then Okay, so I'm going to use this my new band. So this is mineral finishing powder. I don't know the shade it has rubbed off. As you can see, it's well locked. So I want to use a small powder brush. I want to be using this brush. My brushes are for are from Vika Bell, New Band. Y glam, I have Mirac. Yes, these are the brushes of the user. So I'm just going to press on my press powder all over my face, like the rest of the face. I did not use the setting powder. This makeup is like all this clean girl makeup aesthetics. Not the no, no makeup makeup, no. The clean girl makeup aesthetics. The light and the bright under eye with the up blush. Yes, that's what I'm just going for. I like it as a blush. So. And now that we have powder, I'm going to do a powder contour. And I'll be using my Motec. I'm using this Motec powder. It has a lot of like really guys. Yeah, so I'm going to use. I'm just going to use this round blending brush. I don't know why I can't talk. This round blending brush, like 
blend or apply my dry contouring with this smooth egg powder it has really really dark powders this is like the first see this is almost like black that's like making the case because this you know is even too dark for me so yes and if you can hear the generator noise please just bear with me there's nothing i can do to it this is nigeria so i'm just going to take the two shades and then start from this place can you see? That's insane. <laughs> this powder is too dark. Like, it's dark in a good way because we don't get to have like a palette that includes dark people like this. And also, good quality. It has a good quality and it's a dark. Yeah, that's good. Then I'm going to use this name. I don't know what it is. I use a small powder brush, but it's like this tapered or pointy powder from Vika Bell. Almost on my brush, the you know, brush I from Vika Bell to do my dry contour. It's just like under the blush upward, like under the blush upward. Then I don't take my my contour all the way to the middle. I just stop somewhere here, not to the middle where the blush is, like just here and upward. Also for my forehead, just a little bit. I don't like to put a lot of product on my forehead, so just a little. Because the powder I used, the Nuban powder, is warm, like it's a, it's a little bit warm. I like it. So with this contour, it's like cool. So it just it just makes everything works well with each other. Do you understand me? Yep. Yeah. So this powder palette, I'm just going to take like my highlight shade and try to have out. Nose. Okay. Then put a little bit of the setting powder to catch out any fallout from my eyeshadow. I'm not doing something much for the eyeshadow shop, so just just a little bit of the powder. This brow matte by Bramel Brow Tamer. This is the tinted one. To just tame down my brows, my brow hair. So it's like Just going to the same brush and use the darkest powder as my transition. Shadow palette 
on my lid I just use the yellow eyeshadow. What's it called? The yellow eyeshadow on my lid, just on the lid, and I'm going to use that same powder I used earlier for to blend it into my crease and the outer corner. Then I'm using the dark, the darker shade on this outer corner then dragging it out a little bit can you notice that i'm not taking the dark one like all the way in it's just at this outer corner of the eye and then i'm trying to like blend it out probably can you see the difference yeah let's do the same thing here going to take the black from this silver mark just a little bit of the black on the outer corner okay I, when i told you that that powder is dark <laughs> it, it is dark can you see like it's almost black yeah just a little bit of the black here as well to use like a clean brush to just diffuse everything and make sure there's no ash line anywhere then my beauty blender just the powder on the beauty blender I clean that place up a little bit so that it looks a bit sharp and that's it a clean brush to blend the powder all in way Yes, I just did my brows off camera. It's a simple brows, nothing too drastic because I already have like a yellow eyeshadow on, and hmm, that's a lot, even for me. That is that's a lot. So I'm just going to line my waterline with black. I think black will just make this eye pop out a little bit and pop on my my lashes from wink beauty i'm going to be using this small 
small but fluffy and it has a little bit of space i'm going to be using that um lashes and i'll be back i think that's just normal like just learn your waterline and apply lashes i'm going to do a detailed tutorial on how to apply lashes how i draw my brows and stuff like that that'll be much more later but just so that this video is not too long i'm going to do that and i'll be back so guys i've done my lashes and i put a little bit of mascara under my um, bottom lash but i'm still going to put another one so that i just pop out well i like these lashes yeah so i'm going to use this two lip stain from above i'm going to use this but before that i'm going to use my zaron brown black um, gel liner. I'm going to use that to line my lips because I like it to be a little bit dark at the edge like that. So just going to use it. And it's also the one I use for my bottom lash, my bottom lash line. I'm just going to like overline my lips a little bit. that day. 